Hello everyone, welcome back to another Premiere Pro and Photoshop tutorial. In this one, I'm going to show you how to take 2D photos and make them 3D and animated with a cool little parallax thing in the background like I've got here. I'm going to show you step by step. We're going to start in Photoshop. All right, here we are in Photoshop. This is the image. It's all one image. We want to take the gentleman out of the image and then we want to take the background and have just the background. So how do we do that? It's tricky, but I'm going to show you the first step. We're going to go ahead and we're going to grab, we're going to go over here to our object or our quick selection tool. And in this case, we're going to go grab that, go to the top and you'll see select subject. But before we click it, click on that down arrow, then select cloud detailed results. We're going to do that, excuse me, and then click select subject. This gives us a detailed selection here. So we're going to get the subject. This is done using the creative cloud. Uh, servers and there we go boom we've got a great selection now hit command j on a mac control j on a pc and we've got a new layer via copy you'll notice that the le top layer when i turn the bottom one off has a transparent background this is what we want file export and let's just see where it is file export as and then make sure to check from jpg to png and when you do that you get the trend you'll be basically creating this with a transparent background which is what we want of course Click export and I'll just call this 13 because I've just got a number system. So you can call it whatever you want, but I'm just going to call it 13 done. Okay. Now, before I delete this layer, I'm going to hit, I'm going to hold down the command key or the control key and click on the thumbnail. And when you do that, it's got the selection. So I've selected him again. Now turn the background layer on and delete the top layer. So just delete that out there. There we go. One second. So now we've got the bottom layer selected and we've got the gentleman here uh, inside our marching ants, so to speak. Before we do anything now, we're going to go to select, we're going to go to modify and we're going to expand this and we're going to expand it by 20 pixels. Basically what's happening is that we want to replace all the parts of him and we want to take him out and we want to fill it in with the background brick wall. So we've got him selected. Now we're going to go up to edit, content, aware fill. When we do that, we pull him right out. You see what's happened there? It gives you a preview. Click OK. He's out. So now we're just going to go to select, deselect, and this is the image we want. It's pretty good. I'm going to go to file, export, export as JPG. You don't have to do this one as a PNG. It doesn't matter. We don't have a transparency channel. Click on save. So now we've got two images and let's start here in Premiere Pro. I'll delete all this back to finder and now we're going to go into our picture folder there it is you've got 13 and 14 select them both drag and drop them in now the first thing is we drop the 14 in and this is our background obviously and then we're going to drop in 13 on top of it so we've got the person on top of the background which is what we want now we have to animate them so that they go kind of doing their own thing so how do we do it very simple for the part, let's start with the top one. We're going to start with him first. We kind of want him to start off at a scale of, let's say, 100. And I'll see I click that stopwatch beside scale in the effect controls panel. Go to the end and push him up to, let's go to 115. So he grows 15%. Let's see what we got. Perfect. All right. Now we've got to do the, back, the bottom. Let's do that. Click on the bottom one. I'm going to go ahead and change the scale. So again, I'm at the beginning. The scale will start at 115 and we'll go to the end and we'll take it back down to about 100. And again, you guys can do whatever you want with this. This is just an example. Let's see what we got. There you go. This is how you animate stuff and do 2D to 3D in Premiere Pro and Photoshop. Thanks for watching.